I, I think when I look back on kind of three rules I would lay out. The first is get ready. The second is get practiced. And the third is get networked. And the get ready is boards aren't really sitting out there looking necessarily for a CMO like they are for a CFO or a CEO to join the board. So what you want is a, a set of skills that a board might want. I was really lucky. My first board was Pete's. And what they wanted, they wanted a senior marketer in retail. And I happened to be the CMO of Best Buy at the time. Um, with consumer goods experience, and I started at P&G, who did not live on the West Coast, and I was in Minneapolis. So <laughs> I happen to be the only person in the database that fit the thing, so I kind of blundered into the gig. Um, but, but, you know, I didn't know it, but I was ready for what they wanted. And I think they're not just looking for the CMO job like they are looking for a big CFO to come in and run audit or something. They're looking for a set of skills and, and then once you've been on a board, you have some skills that actually other boards might want. So, but th the get ready is, are you doing something that might be interesting to a board? You know, boards right now, a lot of interest in, in some digital, interest in the consumer story, but, <coughs> but they want some breadth of things that, that you bring that they can't just buy. Um, and then the perspective to, to give it to them. So that's the get ready. The second thing is get practice because you want to join the board and you want to be practiced so you have some experience of what a board is like before you even go to the interview. And you can do that by uh, nonprofits. I was lucky enough to be on some, some pretty good nonprofits, be, uh, venture capital boards or private equity boards where you get practice or presenting to your board, um, particularly if the board will give you feedback on how they hear you <coughs> versus whether or not they like your stuff. Um, I was lucky to have some coaches, particularly on the Best Buy board, that explained um, how they hear stuff. Um, so that when I finally got to a board, I, I was more practiced. And even when I got to the interview, I was, I w I was more practiced. And the, then the third thing is get networked, um, which is you really got it. It's, it's not like these things are going to fly in and, you know, call for you. I, I, I was lucky in the first one. That was search. That was a search firm that called me. But the other two boards... One actually started on social media for me. Someone said, will you, will you just talk to this guy for me because I think you're good at this? Um, and the other came from uh, the Pete's board. Uh, and I, well, actually, the other came from a bunch of people talking about me being on the Pete's board to the Capella board. And, and so it was kind of uh, a lucky thing. And, and I'd run a committee at Pete's, so that was kind of a badge that, that, that helped me get in the door. Um, but, but again, I, th I think if I distill it into it's, it's get, get ready, get practiced, get networked, because you don't know where they're going to come from.